Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on first order and first degree differential equation. Now, given problem is solve x square y dx minus x cube plus y cube dy is equal to 0. By the observation, we can say the, this problem is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, where m is dx quotient. What is the dx quotient is here you have in the given problem? x square y. And what about the dy quotient? Here n. What about here? minus of x cube plus y cube. So whenever they are given a mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 form, first we have to identify the given problem is in exact or not. Is it exact or not? So how you can say the given problem is exact means we have to find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If both are equal, then you can say exact differential equation. Okay. If it is not equal, then you can say this is non-exact. Right friends, if it is non-exact, we have a different methods. The first method, uh, we have a inspection method. First method, we have inspection method. Second method, we have a if mx plus ny not is equal to 0, the given differential equation is homogeneous, then 1 by mx plus ny is an integrating factor. Okay. Now, I am going to solve this problem. First, I am verifying which is an exact or not. Okay, friends. Now, find out dou m by dou y. Now, dou m by dou y is equal to here it is a function of x and y. Here x is a constant while differentiating partially with respect to y. So x square is a constant, y derivative is 1. 1 into x square is x square. Now dou n by dou x. Friends, here you observe n is a function of uh, two terms x and y. Here you have a two terms, one is a x cube and one is a y cube. So minus this is equal to minus x cube derivative is 3x square. Is uh, This is y cube. It does not containing any x term. So while differentiating with respect to x, this will be constant, constant derivative with 0. So no need to write. By the observation we can say dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x. m suffix y is called dou m by dou y. n suffix x is dou n by dou x. So both are not equal. Therefore what you can say this is non-exact differential equation. Non-exact friends. Okay. If it is a non-exact we have to go for first method is inspection method. Okay. Uh, but uh, by the observation we can say inspection is not possible in this case. So I am going for the rule 2. Rule 2 what we have means if mx uh, m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is a homogeneous differential equation and mx plus ny not is equal to 0 then integrating factor is 1 by mx plus ny okay first i am verifying which is a homogeneous or not how you can say homogeneous means m and n are homogeneous functions of same degree okay here you observe friends m what they are given x square y in place of x you substitute kx in place of y you substitute ky then you have to get m m is what here k square x square ky so m is k cube into x square y next so you can say m is a homogeneous function of degree 3 what about the n here uh, here k cube x cube here k cube y cube so k cube i can take common so you can say n is also homogeneous function of uh, degree 3. So both m and n have same degree. So you can say the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is homogeneous. Right. So homogeneous and which is non-exact. So which method you have to verify? First we need to verify mx plus ny is it 0 or non-zero. Okay. Now I am verifying mx plus ny. m is what we have? x square y. So if I multiply x then I will have x cube y plus ny. Here I have minus x cube minus x cube if I multiply with y minus x cube y plus y cube into y means y to the power of 4. Okay friends now you verify uh, plus x cube y minus x cube y getting cancelled then you will have this is I think it is a minus here minus is there so this will be plus even though minus and plus both are getting cancelled then this is minus y to the power of 4 which is 0 or non-zero not is equal to 0. So what we can say from the rules to here mx plus ny not is equal to 0 therefore integrating factor is minus 1 by y to the power of 4. Okay friends, now you have to multiply integrating factor for m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Then you will have m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to 0. Now I am writing a m dx plus n dy what, what we have you see m dx plus n dy we have a x square y dx minus of x cube plus y cube dy. Okay, now I am multiplying integrating factor then I will have m1 dx plus n1 dy. Okay friends, if I multiply minus 1 by uh, minus 1 by y to the power of 4, I will get a x square y by y to the power of 4 dx minus half minus plus x cube plus y cube by y to the power of 4 into dy which is m1 dx plus n1 dy 
is equal to 0 is exact friends okay even you can verify dou m1 by dou y is equal to dou n1 by dou x you are getting you will get this one pakka no doubt right anyhow first i am going to simplify this here numerator y is there denominator y power 4 is there so x square by y cube into dx plus here uh, you can split the terms x cube by y cube plus y cube by y to the power of 4 means 1 by y to the power 1 by y only yes or no dy is equal to 0 this is m1 dx plus n1 dy is an exact so friends we know that uh, if it is an exact what is the general solution we have general solution is integral of m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy which is equal to c in this case in the first integral we have a y constant here no x terms are simply we can say free from x terms yes or no now integral of what is m1 m1 is minus x squared by y cube minus x squared by y cube into dx plus n1 does not containing any x terms so here you observe sum of two terms we have in the n1 but this is x term alone x and y is there so x whenever x is there don't take this term here 1 by y is there so write down 1 by y dy is equal to c friends here you observe minus 1 by y cube is a constant here already we are, I mentioned here y is a constant we are integrating with respect to one variable so what about the x square integration x cube by 3 plus what is the 1 by y integration 1 by y integration is log y which is equal to constant c okay this is the general solution for the given problem so the method is clear for everyone friends I repeat again you see here you observe friends if the given differential equation is mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 form first we have to verify which is an exact or non-exact if it is an exact then you can get directly general solution if it is a non-exact first we have to go for inspection method whenever inspection method is not possible friends you verify the given differential equation is a homogeneous or not homogeneous means what we have to do here in place of x we have to suppose you see friends f of kx comma ky means in place of x i have to substitute kx in place of y i have to substitute ky then you will get k to the power of n into f of x comma y in this case you can say the function is a homogeneous function of degree n so if m and n have both are homogeneous functions of same degree then we can say it is a homogeneous differential equation after that we need to verify mx plus ny is 0 or non-zero if it is 0 then rule 2 is not applicable if it is not equal 0 then we have to go for 1 by mx plus ny is an integrating factor this integrating factor we have to multiply for mx mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 then you will have a new new differential equation m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to 0 which is exact friends must and should it will be exact only okay so after getting the exact differential equation you know the general solution how to find out friends here i given task for you so please try to solve these problems similar problems only okay given problem is solve x y dx minus x square plus 2 y square dy is equal to 0 so friends uh, if you solve you have to get this answer and another problem also i give you have to get this answer friends i repeat again uh, in a minute you observe we have to do mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 verify which is which is a uh, exact or non-exact if it is a non-exact inspection method we need to apply whenever inspection method is not possible we have to go for uh, homogeneous function here you observe what is x power 1 y power 1 so degree is 2 what is you have x square degree 2 here you have degree 2 so you verify is mx plus ny is equal to 0 or not equal to 0 if it is not is equal to 0 then you will get integrating factor 1 by mx plus ny here also degree x square y means degree 3 x y square degree 3 so overall degree 3 m is a homogeneous function of degree 3 n x cube minus 3x square y so degree 3 degree 3 so m and n have both have same degree so you can say mdx plus ndy is a homogeneous differential equation if mx plus uh, ny not is equal to 0 which is a non-exact then 1 by mx plus ny is an integrating factor if you know the integrative factor how to solve the differential equation solution you know okay right Tr try to solve these problems and uh, ping me in the comment box right if you are getting correct answer thank you for watching this video in the next video we are going to solve these problems